What up, it's Cam, and welcome to another reaction video. It is Wednesday once again, and we are going to be reacting to a trend that's been going around the internet for a couple days, and it is the TikTok uh, school relatable videos. Uh, I have seen it pop up, my recommended quite a lot, and uh, I just thought it would be a good, good time to react to this because apparently it's meant to be really, really funny. And it's meant to be relatable as hell. So I cannot wait to start reacting to it. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video and see. Let's just see how relatable it can be. Oh, and straight away. It's relatable to me already. <laughs> Why? Why do teachers do that? Like with a folder. Why? Why do they put it up to their face and literally? <laughs> and they always, they always have the, the the teachers' jokes that are just not funny whatsoever. I, I, I don't know why teach. That's so relatable. I don't know why they put the folder up to their mouth or their face and talk to the teachers across the room. But whisper to her and expect the teacher to know lip reading. It's like, why? I, I, surely it can't be that important. Like, surely not. <laughs> guys, 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 stop fighting, please. Jason, Jason, look. This isn't God. you, okay? <laughs> this isn't the you that we all know and love, Jason. You're better than this, okay? Don't listen to what Stinky Drew has to say. He's trying to get you mad. But I know you better than this, okay? So take some deep breaths with me. <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> hey, everyone. Open up the show with you now. Antonio, are you eating? Yes. Who told you that you can eat in my class? Um, my stomach. Well, eating isn't allowed in my class. Um, when did my room become your class? Antonio, I said stop eating. Oh, you know what? You're right. You want some? You seem a little hungry. It's like too late. You know what? <laughs> the office. What they want to do? Send me home. What? I'm listening. Call your mom. Go right ahead. Call her. The sass, the sassy one. Hey girl, I bet you're still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sassy one. I watched your rated R movie last night, but then I had to stop it a little bit early because it was past my bedtime. Yo, watch this. <laughs> Pinch my arm. Do it right here as hard as you can. I promise you, I don't feel pain. <laughs> You guys are so young. <laughs> I bet you don't even know how babies are born. You have to rub butts three times while naked, but that part's optional. And then kiss on the lips. I bet you didn't see that on Tim and Moby. <laughs> rub butts. <laughs> oh. oh, these are amazing. I ain't gonna cry too long. I'm back on my drip. Drip my drip, my drip. Right back on my drip. Oh. I ain't gonna cry too long. I'm back on my drip. My drip, my drip. I'm Only if they wished we did that, but no, we do not do that. I, I didn't do that anyway. Like on my school, like on my school mornings, like on especially Mondays, when I wake up, my alarm goes off. I don't want to leave the bed. I, I, I just bitch and moan. I don't want to leave the bed. And why is it right, okay? Yeah, is that when you're about when you have. When you know you've got to get up in a couple of minutes to get dressed or have a shower for school, you find that comfortable position in bed and you don't want to leave. It, it just taunts you that, you know, it, 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 just, it just taunts you that you've got to get up and you found the best position that you could not find all night, all night, until the last very minute. Why? Why? What? What? Why? It... It's it's so uncalled for. It's so mean. <laughs> Sorry, but my parents don't understand how grateful they should be to have me as a child. Like, I know some kids that are doing the nasty every weekend, going to parties, getting drunk, getting high. And I forget to put a cup away in my room. Like, what? <laughs> we are a dying breed. Oh, I didn't have time to put in grades. I have six other classes. I have six other classes too. 
I still get my work done. And I'm not getting oh. paid to do it like you are. So I suggest you get on it. What's Damn. the longest river in the world? What's the longest river in the world? Oh, I hate teachers it's like this doing tests. It's so annoying. What year? What's the largest and deepest ocean? What's an ocean? Now, which one is the largest and deepest? Think about that. Which one do you think it is? Oh. Uh, Try it out. I, I hate, I hate teachers Can like I this. Can I help you? This is a test. You just finished a 30 minute test in five minutes. You need to check your answers. Oh, I hate teachers like that. This, they were so annoying. Especially ones that say, oh, what do you think it is? Like, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Because I don't know what it is. It's like... <sighs> this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Stardust LEDs for Life Baby. Looking to transform your river what? to that paper wave aesthetic? Check out StardustLEDs.com for premium lights. Perfect is this for room. Use the code in the description for 10% off your order. Okay, so it was. So the child being slapped was part of the ad. Okay. <laughs> so true. Oh my god. It's so true. Oh, it's so true. I don't know why they do that. Why, 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 why do you have the need to just lick your fingers to like pick up paper? Like, is it for easier grip or is it just be annoying little twat? <laughs> it's, it's so unnecessary. I got your mask, Jason. Bro, well, can you give me back my mask? Do you want it? <laughs> have you done your homework? Have you marked out tests? I have other students test the mark, and I have other teachers' homework to do. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you know, so, fair point. So, can anyone tell me what the author might have meant in this paragraph? Alyssa. Okay. Well, not quite. Okay. <laughs> not quite. You're on the right track. All right. This is the right track, and this is you. You're on the right track. I love it when teachers do that, where they like, over body language themselves to like overdo it all the time especially in history i had a history teacher who overdid her body language like fuck and there was no point to it whatsoever it's, not quite what, what, why why right. why teachers do Maybe things we like this look at it from another perspective jason <laughs> That's really it. I don't, you're getting warmer. Okay, warmer. Let's try to look at it this way. Oh, my so, phones are going I, off. That was uh, fantastic. Oh, you need help. What's up? What do you need help with? <laughs> the what? Oh, one minute. Let me come sit next to you. Oh. Which question is it? What are you doing on the floor? Get up. Come on. No, you can share the chair with me. This is a room. You don't have to. Wait, 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 wait. I have oh, to replay that. Let me sit next to you. Which question is it? What are you doing on the floor? Get up. Come on. No, you can share the chair with me. This is a room. You don't have to stand. No, there's enough room. Okay. They so. <laughs> just sit it on him. You're alright. You can sit. Okay. Right, so what we need to do is we need to track oh, this is genius. away from the six. Are you sure you're alright? Okay. Right, so you need to track the five from the six, and then what we're going to do... Where are you gone? You just oh, sat okay. on him. Come on, you know. Right. And you just track the five oh from the six. Oh my god. And then the four will become the three, and then you times it by two. Okay? That's awesome. <laughs> Anyone else need anything oh, my. Love reading. Need a go-to app? With over 6,000 magazines and newspapers and unlimited online access. <laughs> Always the math teachers. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. That was golden. Miss Johnson officially hasn't been in class for 10 minutes now. Do you know, if the teacher doesn't show up for the first 15 minutes of class, we're legally allowed to leave. 
Like, class is legally cancelled. Like, it's locked. So where every Guys, single... Guys, put down her phone. Every single class... Like, every single student was like that. If they're 15 minutes late, you're allowed to leave. And... Uh, Everyone believed it. Like it was so funny. Everyone just believed that like you can just leave after fifteen minutes. It's like I feel like she's spying on us. Like this is a test and it's like a hidden camera. Like Miss Johnson's. Do you know how that became a thing? See how we would behave if she's late to class. Do you like think she's dead? Because like I want a sub for this class. Do you guys think I have enough time to go to the cafeteria and get a snack? Well, I guess if she's not going to show up and be teacher today, then I'll take over the role. So like I'll write down the names of people who are misbehaving mm-hmm. and talking oh, right now, and then I'll like give her the list. Teachers when she comes, pet. You know? mm-hmm. All of my students teachers are pet. Me that they are too stressed and that there's too much work every night for them. Um, I'm just gonna assign them a two-page paragraph essay, bibliography, narrative, to write by tonight. <laughs> oh, classic English teachers. They have no sympathy. They have no mercy either. Like, if you say to your English teacher, you're stressing, boom, in a four, three-page essay, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They have no sympathy for your soul. Again, guys. Uh, so, yeah. So, I am going to end the video there. I know it was a short little video. But, um, oh, that was... I enjoyed every single second of that. That was amazing. It was so relatable. And every single video was so relatable. At least you reminded me of what school was like. And it reminds me that it was hell. It was hell. I'm so happy I don't go to school anymore. I really am chuffed. Because I see it all over TikTok as a trend that people, like, doing a trend that waking up for school in the morning and it just reminds me that I'm not that person anymore. I did my dues. I did my dues. And it was hell. But I succeeded and I did them. And I never, ever, ever have to go through it again. For the people who have to go through that, um, nicest way as possible. In fact, because it's not fun. But I will say one thing is, do what your parents say to you that when you leave school, you will miss it. And you think, leave school? I'll be so happy to leave school. No. No. I miss school every single day. I I can't be like, I said that, but like, I genuinely miss school. It's not so much the lessons. It's so much the teachers that you ask. Some teachers you bond with and you get really like, you know, you, you start to form a friendship with some of the teachers they're so laid back and, like, you talk about stuff that you like to do outside school and stuff. And, like, you know, the, your friends as well. Like, some of my friends, when I left school, I haven't seen them in years. So, like, you know, school can also be a, you know, a really nice place, but it can also be a stressful place, you know, wake up in the mornings and, like, having homework and whatever. You think that school's shit, but really it's not. It's just, if you take away the homework... And wake up up in the mornings and stuff. It's actually fine. You know, school's actually okay. It's not so bad. You know, I gotta wake up for work in the morning. It's basically the same concept. Wake up early in the morning, but just not going to school. Just going to work. But yeah. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.